Subscribe to Mark Tutorial YouTube channel and press this bell icon so you can stay updated with latest videos. Hello friends, in this video we will get to know how you can increase networking speed in Mark software so that your software will work fast. And for this, you have to focus on four main things. SSD versus HDD, RDP, networking speed, high configuration server or high gaming machine. So let's overview to increase networking speed in Mark software. For this, firstly, high configuration or dedicated server should be there. Secondly, in this, SSD should be in it and third is, it should be connected through RDP. Now let's know what is SSD. SSD is solid state drive and its speed is up to 30% fast than hard disk. HDD transfers 50 to 150 Mbps data whereas SSD transfers 200 to 550 Mbps data. Hard disk is of 5400 RPM and 7200 RPM whereas SSD is of 30,000. So SSD is 3 times faster than HDD. Read and write performance of SSD is approximately 20 to 30% higher than HDD and also the boot time of SSD is much less than HDD. If hard drive is in running state and it falls or falls without running state, then data corruption chances are high or data can fail. Whereas if SSD falls, then the data in SSD is still safe to quite an extent. Along with it, comparatively hard disk, SSD produces very less heat because there are moving parts in hard disk. So whenever you access the data, those parts moves again and again through which it produces the heat whereas there are no moving parts in SSD so it produces very less heat. Normally, speed of the hard disk reaches a half of it after 2 years. That's why we recommend you to use SSD. If you want to know more about SSD then you can click on this link. Next is RDP. RDP stands for Remote Desktop Protocol. Through it, users can access the server virtually. Suppose your Mark software is installed on server and you use software from the different locations. So you can access live server and can work in Mark software. And if server may disconnect in between, then it will start again from there only where it was disconnected because you are working on server and if you work live then session gets generated so if your networking breaks down then there are no chances of data corruption because it works as sessions are made up you will get the same speed in node means on client pc as you get on server and if you want to know about RDP in detail, then you can visit on the given link shown on screen. One thing you will focus here, default port 3389 is not at all recommended to use. Now let's understand this in detail. You can see the recommended minimum configuration for server on screen. And for client PC, this is the recommended configuration. For client PC, you can use any computer of any brand. But our best recommendation is you should use thin client. And advantages of thin client are it takes less space than the desktop. It is cost effective like where desktop cost approx 12 to 15,000. Client thin cost approx 6,500. Rest as it is suitable to you, you can use that kind of thin client. Along with it, you can easily maintain thin client. In it, power consumption is less. Like where regular PCs consumes 150 watt, thin client consumes average 8 to 20 watt. As well as data also remains secure because in it there is no hard disk. So 
You cannot copy data in disk from the computer. You can save the data in server and cannot in another location. After this, let's discuss that configuration in detail which is recommended in Mark from the Mark software to increase networking speed. To this, we have divided it in three categories. In which first category is if you are using 4 to 5 PC, then there is no use of high configuration server. You can use any system as server and can work. Second category is if you are using 8 to 10 systems, then use separate dedicated server and make sure in it Windows 7 or 10 should be installed. This is also preferred window of the server should be of 32 bit. Third category is if there are 10 or more than 10 PC, then on your client PC, Windows 7 should be installed and make sure on server, server window 2008 R2 should have installed. On which server you are using mark, their server window 2012 R2 shall not be used. Now we will see what should be the minimum networking speed. If there are 5 to 10 client PC, for that minimum 1 Gbps speed is recommended because generally the networking speed is peer to peer networking of 100 Mbps which is default. Mbps and Gbps is data transfer speed. So if you have 10 PC and you are using speed of 100 Mbps, so the speed of 100 Mbps will be divided in 10 PCs from which data transfer speed will be slow. That's why minimum 1 Gbps speed is recommended. Along with it, you will focus here. In your Mark software, RAID should not be configured because due to this, speed gets slow. So the alternate solution is that you can take an external backup like in pen drive, hard disk or you can take in 7 layer backup means server backup. Now we will see for this what kind of networking should be there. For networking, we will use 6 CAD cable. From IOPS network, connectivity in system, you will use ready-made networking patch cable. Don't use domain network there where you are running Mark software because as per our research, domain network slows 30% of the speed. In Mark server for LAN cable connector, metal body connector or specific connector is recommended because if in Mark server for LAN cable connector there is a use of low quality connector, then if low quality connector will start producing heat due to which they will get loose and then networks will keep on breaking in between. So for LAN cable connector, metal body connector or specific connector is recommended and cost of metal body connector is approx 10 to 15 rupees. Plastic body or low quality connector cost approx 5 to 6 rupees. LAN cable should be connected directly from the server and from the direct switch. As you can see here, this is your server and this main LAN network is directly connected with switch. Then in sub network, Switch 1, 2, 3, LAN network is connected with switch and client PC is connected with switch. So your connectivity should be like this. To connect switch with server, don't use multiple switches. As you can see the diagram, this is server and we placed one switch here. Then again, we'll place this switch here. Now. One switch is here and here is client PC. So data 3 will pass from the switch and comes here due to which billing speed gets slow. So that's why do not use any medium switch for server. If you want to use multiple switch for networking then you will use fiber networking wire. But if fiber cable is not available then in that case you can use cross cable. For local network, you will not use dynamic IP system. You have to provide static IP to every user because 
in dynamic ip suppose if you send any request to server and pc gets disconnected with network like if you restart your pc then in this case when pc gets start from network again then ip gets changed from which server needs to recognize again that on which pc there was a request due to which response time of server gets increased along with it in dynamic ip connection keep on fluctuating and connection is not at all stable with it dynamic ip assign router so first request goes to router then to server then whatever the server responds router compile it and checks on which ip the request came up from whichever ip the request came up router sends the request back on that ip so in this way router has a major role in it because you are using dynamic ip and along with it from server data takes time to reach client pc via server due to which speed gets slow and if static ip has been used then there is no need of router so that's why it is recommended to use static ip wireless networking is not recommended for mark software if you are using antivirus then firstly you will exclude mark folder use license version for all of the softwares in your system because if you will use pirated software then system will automatically shares your information and all data from the backend to respective companies as well as in systems various events gets fire due to which your system start working slow that's why use license version so that you can work error free after this there are challenges need to be focused if mark software is on rdp then in that case barcode printer does not work in client pc if mark software is on rdp then in that case dmp printer will not print as dmp you need to use gui printer so friends in this way you have learned how you can increase networking speed in mark software thank you